The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what's up, guys? Marcy here. Come back to do another first person video, and today I'm going to be doing some games versus Haru Specs. Now, um, I've been struggling to get games actually recently online versus good opponents. I consider Haru Specs to be one of the better players of the bunch at the moment, so I'm going to have some games versus him. See how it goes. And not only that, but I can actually play during my comfort time and not during the night, so that's uh, just great. Anyway, so I'm going to be dealt Reaper 17 in this game. I'm going to get these buildings here, which I am almost certainly guaranteed to get because I'm screwing. I do have those buzzers which are slightly faster than any other scout in the game. So I'm going to take those real quick. And I might even get some games versus greens or if he's up for it. Um, providing it's on the VPN and not on Revora because, you know, I'll just get a uh, suspension then otherwise. So yeah, um, hopefully Haru Specs in this game is not going to be Trial 59. That would suck for me. I'm just going to take this spike here before he can capture it. I am uh, probably just going to send one scout in here. Actually, you know, there's some disintegrators here. Let's kill these real quick. Take those out. So he's not going to be able to kill my spike now. So that's kind of the disadvantage of going for random. He should have gone for more than one descent. I'm not sure why he didn't do that. But yeah, he's going to be the same as here in this game. Same for me. Um, if I was Squint, Scrin, or if either one of us was Scrin, uh, then the person who Scrin would have a disadvantage because the Reaper 17 shields cost $2,000, whereas the uh, Scrin ones are 4000 And that's kind of a big advantage, actually, going into the late game um, if you're in a Scrin mirror. And uh, only that, they have a few other perks. Uh, one of the major ones being uh, as Reaper 17, you can use the Tybrium Vibration Scan, which is free, and um, that will reveal your opponent's Mechapedes for free. It's still worth it though, if you're a Scrin or Traveler, to use that $300 support power just to confirm where your opponent's Mechapedes are on the map because they do get revealed as though it is a unit that uh, contains Tiberium, which I think we all know that it isn't, but I guess they made it that way because um, they do have a Tiberium segment, and I feel that they felt that even if they don't have that segment on them, then they should be just uh, considered to have Tiberium in any ways. I guess the logic wasn't that advanced, but I'm going to go for an expansion anyway, so uh, likewise for myself, I'm going to send this Harvester to this field here, and uh, maybe go for some Seekers or just to support this Gunwalker, or oh, Harvester going to this blue tip. Um, two Harvesters there is probably a bit too much, so let's not do that. Um, he's going to be here taking this tip. He's actually taking it a little earlier than me. Uh, nice timing there from Haru Specs. I'm going to take some of it here. Not sure if I think he got the better end of the stick there. Yeah, he did, definitely. Um, which harvester did I send to that field again? Was it my fifth harvester or sixth? I think it was the fifth one. So he must have sent his third there. Anyway, that's going to work out for him. I'm going to put a little cat to attack on him here. I have a few buses here, which I can use versus um, disintegrators here. I need to make sure I don't lose them though versus the, this buzzer hive. I'm just going to put some damage onto this um, here and just keep these buzzers around and camp his portal. So we'll kill these. Okay, go for more harvesters here. And we're just going to clean up shop on these disintegrators. Probably worth sacking these units here just to kill this. He's trying desperately to hold me back, but it's not going to be enough, unfortunately, for him. Can you please target that fucking... It finally goes down. I can probably draw these into the Tiberium Field, though, and use the um, Infestation Hive. See if he's going to fall into that. Yeah, he is. Oh, he shoots it down at me. I guess because it's going to attack move those units there. Do you have nine harvesters? I'm making seekers and disintegrators, which is probably the best combination um, you can get versus this. Just scout in advance for where his units may be. And I think he's going to attack my expansion though. But to be sure, I'll send some units here. I did get that one harvester. Probably did um, delay him a bit as well. So let's see where his army is right now. Is he really putting a counter attack on me? Shit, he's over here. How do you get over there? Let's heal this up. Oh well, I'll go for some mechapes now. I need to get a nice little attack in my base. Uh, but it's not going to do too much damage to me. I'm going to put some damage onto him now. Do I have any harvesters here which can go to that blue type of field? 
Uh, not really. I send one hit there actually at the moment. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Maybe kill its harvesters here in this base. Send these back and put some damage onto his harvesters. Okay. Am I getting harassed in my other expansion? No, I'm not. Fortunately. He's losing dev tanks now. I think I'm overwhelming his ability to multitask in this game. I'm going to make a tier 3 a portal just in case I lose my ability to... Wow, he's got a piece there. Let's take those out. Okay. Go into an expansion. I think we need to make another war factor as well. Just so I... Where's that mechapee? Did I lose it? Yeah, he did. Right, well, he killed it straight away. It's unfortunate for me. Do you clean him up there, though? Wow, he's got mechas. Fuck me. We take out his tier 3 then, I guess. Okay. Where's those mechapees here? I want to kill those, don't I? Probably don't want to make any more Storm Riders either. Otherwise, I will be losing this game. Please kill these. It's kind of a weird strategy what he's doing here. I'm not sure what... wasn't expecting that. I should have scouted, admittedly. But it is what it is. Oh, fuck me. Don't, don't lose this either. I'm trying to focus down the head there. Likewise myself. But I'm just going to kill him here outright. Take out these Mechapedes. Where's those Storm Riders They're over here? Did he actually take that um, expansion post over there? Is that how he managed to get those um, into my base so quickly? Not okay, but uh, let's transfer some to this harvester. Wow, I'm a bit suicidal here actually. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm all over the place. Got a heroic seeker. Which is pretty insane. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's so insane, the heroic seeker tanked all that damage. How they got heroic? It must have killed a mechapede or something. But. Oh, he's got an overlay there. Let's not engage that then. Just need to try and coordinate a bit better. Go for more mechapedes, uh, throw down that Icor Seed ability. Um, Maybe transfer some halves over here in preparation for uh, Refinery, which will be there soon. We've got this Heroic Seeker. I don't know how the fuck that got that, but it um, did somehow do something for me in that engagement earlier. Killed those Mechapedes. I'm a bit wasteful here. Probably disrupt the AA here. So I'm going to force this drone ship to deploy with this Heroic Seeker. Why can I not kill that? I'm gonna kill his drone ship anyway with this uh, seeker tank. It's gonna go down. Just not focus firing properly with my mechas either. I think finally now I have it though. Go into this base, maybe camp his portal as well. Put the mechapede on home ground stance so it uh, shoots, uh, prioritizes enemy units over buildings. If you've got your units on aggressive stance, they'll go and shoot whatever they f encounter first, so if it's a building or unit, doesn't matter, they'll go engage that, but what the fuck, man, I just got a rogue seeker. No, that, but it withstood the damage of those three mecha peas, I can't believe that, that was insane. Oh my god, I don't think that's ever happened to me, ever, never. It must have been that slight minor gun damage buff that uh, we introduced in the last patch, it was like 10% for the seeker, but it's nevertheless. He must have equipped his mechas with mass disc, disc segments there. That was pretty crazy. I'm glad to have got that on tape. Alright guys, I can't believe that just happened. A, her a heroic seeker versus mechapedes? No. Just no. <laughs> that is got to be the first and only time that will ever happen, ever. So, I'm going to be black hand in this game. I'm going to play more versus Haru Space because he seemed quite challenging in that last game. That uh, sneaky corrupt harassed around the side of the base. That was pretty smart. 
Didn't scout for it. We black hand this time though, so let's see how he deals with this. And I'm gonna keep my barracks, maybe. Often I want to power down my barracks. Um, one advantage of doing this is that if your opponent has a scout here, which you didn't expect coming, while you're packing your MCV up, you can quickly sell this barracks here. And you can anti-scout in a situation where you wouldn't otherwise be able to anti-scout. I mean, you would sell this anyway, but it's just, if you leave it here, it's kind of, can, kind of can be advantageous. Because they take out this uh, rifle squad here, what faction is he going to be? He's going to be Steel Talons, which is uh, very useful intel. Because that will confirm to me that he is uh, going to be um, pretty fine versus any sort of rush. But I'm going to go for a rush anyways. I'm going to go for them bikes, man. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so he's probably going to try and get a scout in here through the back. He's good micro though, I have to say. He's uh, controlling his units just fine in this game. I'm going to try and block any scouts here I can. Maybe send this harvester in to unload a little earlier, just so I can get uh, some income. I'm going to go for four or five bikes maybe in this game. Let's see if he's going to go for anything to respond to this. Okay, so I'm going for five bikes now. Okay, let's see what happens with these five bikes. I'm going to have to make damage, obviously, with these bikes here. I'm not going, going to go near this tower here, just in case he has it captured. I'll lose my bike. He will obviously have to order that tower to shoot to get the maximum range from it. Anyway, he's going to come across these bikes now. Let's see if he can hold this back. I'm going to put some damage onto this here. So take out this pit bull here. It's going to go down. So here comes the units. Am I rallying my harvesters properly? Yeah, I am. Wow, that's a bad uh, deployment. I would have never done that if I were you. He's going to make pitbulls now. Okay, he's probably overspent enough. Oh, let's get these cabals back. I want to use those versus those pits just so I can scare them back as I did in that um, Odyssey game, which I guys hope you will see. In fact, at the end of this video, I will include a game where I stop talking halfway through. Because I wanted to go full power. I was, I was about to lose this game. I got kind of fed up. And it ended up being one of the best games ever played ever. Um, I thought I was almost certainly dead. But uh, unfortunately not to be. And this is exactly what happened to Senna as well. I guess he was a bit confused. Didn't know where my bikes were coming from. But that's definitely a good pick up there. He's gone three harvesters. I'm on six at the moment. So uh, definitely a big advantage here for me in this game. He's got five people still. I've got the bikes. Um, probably get these back to base actually for some repairs. Uh, maybe three I can keep um, out and about for scouting purposes only. But he's going to have to get some damage dealt on me now. Maybe go for some infantry or something. But he's pretty idle at the moment. Um, get these back to base. And I do enjoy playing these Russians now and then. Um, I should continue to play them though because I want them to improve, you know get better we need new talent in this game and watch this here oh fuck me that was a bad demonstration of what i wanted to show um, i meant to uh, sell the barracks onto this uh, for the, because the ball does a lot of damage you can actually de garrison a foxhole quite easily that way okay so we'll go for this infantry now probably send these straight to his base by the time they arrive at his base, they'll have the flame upgrade, which is um, just going to be great. Do some here as well, just to defend versus those pit bulls. He's going for infantry now. Okay, going to probably have that tower crew. Wow, he's got the tower captured. I'm not sure if he grabbed that earlier or what, but... I do feel that he's got some tanks over here, so I'm going to prepare for that. Um... He's going for infantry now. He's sending the pit bulls in to harass. Uh, so I'll be ready for those. When's my upgrade doing? Going to be complete. It's going to be complete soon. Probably by the time it's relevant versus this fight. In this fight, yeah, it is. Go take those out. Um, okay. I'm going for this MCV over here at the moment. Uh, do I have? 
some infantry here. Yeah, I do. I want to refrain also from saying at the moment all the time. I know you guys have been criticizing me of repeating the same thing over and over, but it can be easy to do so when you're concentrating on, you know, playing. <laughs> so I'm really aware of what I'm saying actually when I'm playing games. Um, maybe versus this guy, but versus guys like Senna, wow, no way. Um, it's hard to really evaluate what I'm saying. Sometimes I say the most silliest of things, but it is what it is. I expect him to go hammerheads now because I am uh, making mass infantry. Going to maybe transfer some harvesters over here as well. Degarrison this bonk soul as well. Kill this tower as well to make ways for these uh, flame tanks here. And really, the only thing that can threaten me mostly in this game is um, flame tanks. I mean, hammerheads. Let's put the attacks into here. Okay. Probably go for a Tiberium chemical plant too. One thing you can do to make infantry more effective is use the decoy army. Okay, so let's get those harvesters to work here. Got two tanks here. Let's use these to scout what he has. And this is forcing, this is distracting him in for a lot of time so I can get my expansion up. Let's see what he's going for now. He's a bit delayed. He, of course, we saw that he was a very far behind early. He's out with two orcas now. Well, I expected air of some sort. Wasn't expecting orcas. Are those the orcas there? No, they're not. Okay, we use a one click here. Maybe click this MCV on the tip field. Okay, orcas here. Ah. Trying to micro here the best I can. At least make him pay for all these orcas that he's wasting, which of course he's doing there. Okay, maybe go for some purifiers now, I guess. I've got these flame tanks up here. Let's send those in to finish up his his base. Upgrade these power plants as well, just so he can't go in and, you know, march through my base and kill me outright. Um, I'm going to go for a redeem. He's got an engineer there, which will reveal my uh, flame tanks up here. What well, didn't get them in time. Didn't time it good enough. Um, can just shield this here. Force him to come closer so he can't retreat as easy. I expect him to maybe come into my base with a one big assault with the hammerheads. Uh, but little does he know, I actually know that he has those hammerheads. And he's just going to throw in the tower here. So that is going to be it. Um, he didn't respond to those bikes as best as he could. He, those five bikes uh, were rampaging through his harvesters. Um, he should have been more aware than he was. Unfortunately, uh, though, he wasn't and uh, lost all those uh, harvesters there. In fact, he only lost one, but it was enough to set him far behind because he also was making pit balls instead of you know what he was meant to be making at that time, which is harvesters. So I was able to you know eco quite far ahead of him in that game, and that's um, showing in this graph here. So yeah, that's a, a very ca case close sort of game. Um, it is what it is. So yeah, next game. All right, guys. Speak of the devil. Senna is online, and I'm gonna have to play a little bit better now. Those games uh, that I played before, I'd consider to be warm up. Though, they were really good games, to be honest. Well, the first one, anyway. The second one kind of was uh, a big fail on his part for not um, being in position versus those bikes. He knew I had five bikes out and about. Uh, by the way, if you're ever in that position where you don't know where your opponent's units are, you just draft a share turret or draft a watchtower, and you can see where your units are coming from quite easily. Anyways, I'm going to be not in this game, which means that I'm probably more uh, likely to scout him with going for a buggy first. So I'll do just that. I'm going to take this spike right here, and I've got these two engineers ready to capture these spikes. I'm going to just go for a buggy first in this game. I could chance it though and go for bikes as I did in the last game, though if he's rushing me with disintegrators, then I'm in trouble. Um, speaking of descent, Senna is a guy that uh, often sends descents um, through the tip field here, so I want to make sure that I don't fall victim to that. That would be uh, quite devastating if I do uh, lose a game that way. So I'm going to go for this buggy. Maybe the buggy first will be able to scout down here so I don't um, lose that way. Just need to make sure that I'm clear in the green versus all of these early game shenanigans that you can expect. So I'm going to just scout down here. 
descents are very slow, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure where the descents would be at this point. It's going to be Judai. Okay, then. What kind of Judai? It's going to be Zircom, so no rushes of um, any sort will be coming to me. All powerful ones, that is. And he's going to dig a foxhole there. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. No, he's not, unfortunately, for him. He's not going to get a scout off. Probably we barely saw that refinery, though, with his uh, rifle. Though, who knows? He's got rocket harvesters, so going for any sort of bikes after my third harvest are probably going to fail quite catastrophically for me. Uh, he's probably going to want to go for a pit bull as well because um, if you don't then you're in trouble. Uh, I could go for bikes and punish him quite heavily. So he's going to go for an expansion now. He's not got any scouts I don't think unless he sent one this way. He probably de garrisoned the bunker, which he had. Actually, let's send this bike over here and de get and clean. Yeah, kill this pit bull. Okay, so. Could try and block him from getting into my base here with this. So, this is what I'm going to do try and stop him from getting in. He's not going to see what I have. So he probably doesn't know still what I have exactly. So let's see if he makes the mistake and goes for eco. It's a lot of mind games in this game. He might think that I'm just trying to eco bait him here. But in fact, I'm not. Is he going for mass pivot? No, he's got two out in the field. I may have just revealed them there. going for infantry now okay well I'm gonna have to get some damage dealt right at this very instant so I'm going to send these over here try and kill a harvester I don't think he can see anything that I have so I'm gonna quickly snipe a harvester here so quickly take this harvester out and then retreat I think that was worth it He's going to go for infantry now and scorpion tanks and he's going to go for tip field suit. So I'm going to get the mass buggies out at the moment and you know kill these pit bulls maybe. I did kill two harvesters which arguably is enough damage for me. Okay, maybe he's got some harvesters leeching blue tibium so let's uh, go confirm if that is happening. Speaking of blue tip I should have really made an effort for it earlier. So I'm going to send these over here. Okay. Oh, he's got a lot of units coming to me now. For this big center counter attack. I'm going to send these around here though. Kill some of his harvesters. I don't know if he has the upgrade for his army yet. I'm going to send these over here though. Cut off his infantry from the rest of his army. As you can see, that's what's happening. He's getting his units get cut off from the rest of his army. And I should be able to deal with him quite promptly here, actually. Taking out his harvesters in the back as well, which is nice. And I'm gonna retreat, which is nice. I'm not gonna lose any of my units either. Um, should really go for more eco as well. So let's queue some harvesters over here. Okay. He's gonna still have harvesters though because he is. Oh my god. Okay. Where's those buggies? They're getting taken out. Okay. Send a mackering like a boss here. Ugh, not mackering best with my harvesters. I'm losing those. Just surprised how I didn't. How the hell has he got more units than me though? He must have been spamming harvesters all freaking time. 
Dach. I should have maybe not sold my AMC because I'm going to lose my base here. And that's going to be GG. I think I just didn't make enough harvester in this game, um, so I fell behind economically. I should have also been taking the blue tip as that was all going on. He's actually got an expansion in the middle as well, so wow. I guess that two-wall factory failed quite miserably. I guess you need more than two harvester kills uh, to make that worth it. Uh, did I even make enough harvesters that game? I think I only made six or seven, so not nearly enough. Uh, as you can see, uh, economically, I was pretty um, stalled compared to Senna, despite the damage, it just wasn't enough. So, yeah, uh, something to take note of, note of next game. All right, guys, I'm going to play this map again because that last game was barely a game. And he shouldn't have quit, but I guess he felt that he couldn't win uh, without getting those two spikes early on. Can't blame him. Anyway, should I do the same as last game or not? Questionable. Uh, I think I will just sell one. Um, hive here just to see what faction he is and go for maybe the sense of my own. I'm gonna go for a bus so I can uh, garrison these buildings up first and then I'll go for disintegrators after. In fact, maybe I want to go for two buzzers. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's see what he's going to do here. I can probably get behind these buildings, you know, do some damage with those. Let's see how he's going to deal with these. I'm going to use these structures to my advantage and kill these uh, infantry. Okay. So let's see what he has here. I'm going to take my spikes anyways. And I don't think he's going to see these coming. I think he might, there might be something fishy about what I have here. Probably not going to hit the timing that I want with this. But uh, let's see what's the deal. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. I'm going to go in here, kill his harvester. He's still talent, so he's going to be in trouble here. I'm going to kill this harvester outright. Should have gone behind the refinery, he didn't, though. And that's going to delay him quite a bit. Okay, maybe I should have gone retreat a little sooner so I could have harassed his spike, but it is what it is. He did sell his refinery, so that kind of worked. Um, though anything kind of goes on in random mirrors. He's going to be behind once again. Steel towns as well, something that you uh, don't usually like to see. He's going to try and get his eco back up to scratch, though I'm just too far ahead of him. And the name of the game is when you're ahead is to get more ahead, and that's what I'm going to do. I've uh, many a time went for more aggression when there was no need to. Uh, if you're ahead, just eco more. It's up to your opponent to do damage to prevent you from snowballing ahead in the game. So it's up to him really to prevent that. Anyways, I'm going to take uh, more Tiberium in this game. I am Scrin, I think. Yeah, I'm going to be regular Scrin. Uh, Scrin descents are actually a little more tougher compared to the Traveler ones, and also they're a little faster by default. Because we deem Trav Descents to be too powerful in R11. Uh, you could just rush into your opponent's base with Disintegrators early on. And it was kind of a no-risk thing to do. It would almost every single time kill your opponent's Harvester. Even when they expect it. Which is kind of lame. But I'm going to do what Standard does and just eco the hell out of him. He's probably going to go... Uh, he needs to go for like a push. If it were Bike Rush, he would have gone for a, a Titan push of some sort. But uh, not Senna to be. Not Senna. Okay. I'm going to go for some dev tanks now. And just eco. Go for this instance as well. Let's see what he has here. Has he got refinery up? No, he hasn't. He's just getting his harvester to work here. He's actually got refinery already. Has he got eco over here as well? Yeah, he has. Well, I'll take this uh, blue tip. Maybe charge this dev tank up as well. Keep this field going for as long as possible. 
Maybe prevent his harvester from going to that blue Tiberium field. Can use these as a little strike force to kill his harvester. Oh, his Wolverine bugged. It didn't start shooting. But I am just stopping these units from doing, getting to my base at least. So I'm going to send these over here. Keep him distracted for as long as possible. And uh, these dev tanks as well are going to be a real nuisance for him to deal with. Oops. I am ahead in this game, but I don't want to lose my advantage. Okay, take out these here. Got dev tanks up here as well. I shouldn't really engage those until I have a reasonable amount of forces to deal with his attack force. He's going for infantry. No, he's not actually. He's just going to camp. I think I'm going to go for a dev tanks then. And if he pushes out of his units, I'm just going to go in here and kill his harvesters. Okay then. I'm going to kill these harvesters. And I'm going to take those out. I'm not macroing as good as Senna. I never do. So here comes more dev tanks. And I'm taking out his eco here, which is nice. We use these if infantry against him. I mean, uh, go chase these back. for hammerheads as well. Not a good map for those. Uh, packs too. Maybe I could use the Overlord's Wrath. I'm going to have the shields upgrade soon as well. Complete. So you're going for a mass hammerhead transition? Maybe. Get two more dev tanks out before I decide to engage him. I've been taking all the blue this whole time. Okay, so let's see what his move's gonna be here. I'm gonna go for packs. Um, maybe two dev tanks around the side, take out his tech center or something. Um, yeah, I think uh, mass air is the right answer, to be honest, in this game. I'm going to do my best to ensure that those fields are dry. Center and mirror about even when it comes to eco. See what he has now, see what he's going for. I think I'm going to push from my MCV as well. I'm going to make a little push here, see what I can do. He's got hammerheads. Coming down here with his forces, it looks like. He's not going to have nearly the army that I have, though, I don't think, in this game. going to sit back here with my forces. Um, there's no EMP control spike on this game, so I'm not going to lose my packs that way. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And I've got double A here as well. So I'm going to take those out. He's trying his hardest to get something done with his attack, but it's not going to work. His hammerhead's getting suicided. Probably build a barracks and reclaim some of those juggernaut husks. So that's what I'll do. Maybe go for a stasis as well. And that's what it took to beat Senna and his macro. He's just better at it than I am. I think... I need an advantage really to beat Senna most of the time. Or it could be that I'm not playing that well this afternoon. And 
We're just going to throw in a towel here. Uh, nice effort though from Senna, he was quite resilient. But uh, those disintegrators early in the game uh, proved to be too powerful and I think that gave me the buffer that I needed to, you know, steamroll ahead of in, in that game. I was floating a bit too much money in the late game, but um, I intentionally done that so I could spam planetary salt carriers and dev warships, which I feel uh, more cost effective than my alternatives that game. So yeah, um, got a favorable trade versus him. He is a very good spammer though. Um, he does make a really good comp composition of units and it's easy to underestimate what he has sometimes. So yeah. All right guys, uh, we're gonna be playing on Tiberium Rift now and this is a perfect map to go for some descent ones again. Uh, it's a really good opening. Uh, it's rarely is it cost ineffective. Uh, disintegrators do outrun a lot of scouts, um, rifles and militants. So that's going to be pretty good. I'm going to be able to deal with those uh, quite easily. I'm going to make another buzzer as well here just so I can clear that foxhole or bunker here just in case he has it garrisoned with a rifle squad. So I can take less damage from my disintegrators because I don't want to destroy that bunker because I want to use it um, to my advantage if he is got, going for an APC or buggy. Because I can use this bunker when it's alive to force fire around it and force that APC to you know, cut corners and kill that. So yeah, let's see if I can kill his rifles in here. He's not got anything in there though. He's gonna probably have, I'm probably gonna encounter a rifle there. So yeah, he's gonna see this buzzer and he's probably going to expect the disintegrators to come. Let's see if he's gonna have that APC coming to me at the moment. He's going to Send the rifle to my base. I've um, got this base here. I can probably out micro this rifle and um, kill it around the war factory. Because it is a melee unit, but uh, must have got caught in my selection there, unfortunately. Gonna take out this hub um, spike anyway. And what faction is he? I forgot to check his rifle squad. He's going to be uh, G-Dive Vanilla. Should be able to take this spike out. Even if he does rock up with an APC, I'm still gonna kill this. Because that's going to deny some long-term eco to Senna. Force out an APC out of him as well. Yep, there's the APC. So you can't really do much there. I'm going to force him to unpack his uh, MCV as well. So I'm going to try and get this around the war factory. I mean this here try and cut his expansion so I'm going to kill this APC he's using his um, MCV here as well so that's unfortunate for him he's gonna I'm gonna block this tonight from expanding for a bit longer he's gonna have that watchtower queue in the moment to kill these here To really aim down that rifle and um, that buzzer there, he's not doing that though. Should have got that type room over here. Let's go get that. Okay, well, that's gonna put me quite far ahead in this game going for that. I did split those two descents off, uh, blocked the APC in its tracks from responding quick enough. And I'm going to put some uh, damage on his uh, refining up here. He's actually got one down. Okay. Well. Going to come in here with the Seekers. I've done this time and time again. So he's probably going to expect this. See if he's decided to keep that watchtower around or not. So maybe he has. Probably go for a back you know, um send those this uh, group of pack of disintegrators around the side. So I'm gonna do this. Is this harvest idle? That's a lot bloody good. Okay, here he comes with a bunch of APCs. Take out this pit bull. And he's going to hold me back quite easily here. So these attacks are just not working my way. I think I've got the timings all wrong. Should have done it on four harvesters if I was going to do this. And now he's just going to spam a fucking bunch of infantry like he normally does. Training. 
I need to go for Preds as well. And that's going to be hard to stop. Okay. Is he going straight for my base? Looks like he is, yeah. Yeah, that harvest idol was quite a problem for me. Oh shit, I'm gonna lure these into my disintegrators if I'm not careful. We could try and kill Harvester there or something that he has. Queuing a uh, hexapod facility as well. I want that. See if he's uh, leeching some Tybrium over here as well. He doesn't have anything though. He's gonna go for his upgrades, his infantry upgrades. Maybe lure them over here. He's going hammerheads now. He does have AP ammo soon. He does have that AP ammo. I'm going to take out these harvesters here anyway. Anyway, take out this harvester. He's losing all of his income. Which is really bad for him, actually. Storm Column doing tons of damage anyway. Taking... Should probably get some mechapies out to do some more harass. He just lost all of his income. Has he got another expansion? No, he hasn't. He's not taking blue tip either. lose any harvesters after I got that nice advantage there. I don't want to gift him anyone, anything. Okay. He's going for a Marv. He's going to recover and get some more eco out, it looks like. I've got nine harvesters here. Um, did I even get shards? No, I didn't. I should go for shields. See what he has up here, see if he's going for an expansion up there. I'm gonna go for it get my expansion underway anyway. Got quite a bit of problem when it comes to income. Okay, it's got this hex pop with this um, little force. It's only losing a hammerhead there. He's got rail guns now. Okay then, that's nice to know. He's going to lose his pack of Predator tanks um, if he's not careful. So I'm just going to milk this Hex now, see what he has over here. He's going for an expansion. Probably could put a Lightning Spike down here, you know, and uh, d block this. Okay, go for a Stasis Chamber. There's the Marv. Okay, stop this from marvesting this field here. I'll try and retake this tripod husk back as well. But falls. Okay, this is going to go down, this Marv. It's going Marv tanks over here. I'm going to send them straight to my base. Let's get an expansion down here. Okay, hexapod. Let's get that underway. I think he's going to see this in advance. I think he is. Oh well, then. Oh, send this straight into his base. I don't know where his army is. He's got massive infantry over here. Do have support powers available to me. Here he comes with the army of his.
Take out these harvesters. Oh my god, Predator tanks over there. They're going to be a freaking nuisance. Okay, just gonna take out my base here as well, if I'm not careful. Okay, draw them into my hex. Take out these predator tanks. Make him in disarray a bit. Take out his original base as well. And this hex will be able to deal with his reinforcements. And we'll get money for each kill that I get with this hex here. So he's going to lose all of his forces. Maybe he's got a little army down here as well. Let's go see. Kill these back to four. He's got mouths over here. Good to know. Take those out. And almost lost my tech. Not quite though. Oh my god. Oh shit. I didn't see that. I seriously did not see this. Well, fortunately for me, though, he's not going to have anything to deal with these infantry. He's got infantry to deal with the hex. Should be able to handle those, though. Hexapod getting chewed down by these infantry. Jesus, this is a disaster for me. I should not have lost all these tripods. What the fuck am I doing with these tripods here? Completely forgot about them. He just spang mass infantry now. Phase is a long way off. Oh, well then, I'll just go straight to his expansion, take him out there. God, this is unnecessary. Okay. Has he got anything over here? I don't think so. Take out his income. Gonna have big army soon. He's gonna pull back his army, I think, to deal with this attack now. Where's his hex? It's over here. Oh well, pushed him back there. He's just going to donate forces to me now if he's not careful. I've got my tripod here. He must have forgotten to take those out in the end. Nevertheless, don't want to forget these forces here. Let's send those back. Maybe get the blue shards upgrade, considering how he's making mass infantry. More descents in this hex. Descents tend to be pretty good versus uh, uh, infantry. Send this over here. Get the hex into his base anyway um, as a counter attack. Little counter. Uh, shit. What the fuck's my money getting drained on? Well, so much for the blue shards. 
Could suicide kill this hex into his base? He's gonna pull back his army to deal with this hex pod now. I could probably go in here, kill, hit the rest of his base or something. Um. Send these units back now. A lot of positioning and gains uh, versus center. Trying to spam some units here to deal with this. He's going to try and chase me back here with his little army. Taking tons of rear armor here. Okay, here he comes with a little force here. Getting tons of resources for this little attack. Keep getting units stuck in my Q move as well. Selection. Can we take some of this Tiberium as well? This blue tip. It's over there, nothing. Well, he's pushing me back over there. Take this tripod husk back. Um, I will get the shields on this tripod the moment I capture it. Because I already researched the shield upgrade. It's kind of a nice little bonus about the tenure with the shields um, of tripods that you do get that shield replenished uh, if you capture it. And you even get your opponent's um, tripod shields back if uh, they have ever got that upgrade. See, I'm going to make a station shield here. Got a huge army. There's not very much he can do. I'm gonna put more ex damage onto him. Okay. Not much I can do besides eco. Always oh, so much juicy tip over there. Okay. Is he recalling over there his forces? Yeah, he is. You can see those a mile away. I'm taking a more defended area, and I think he's got forces over here. He must have changed his mind or something. Okay. Well, both of us more or less have the same idea at this uh, instant. Take out these harvesters. He's going for my base now. Oh my god, this fucking reverse move bug. What the fuck is that? Let's not engage into that. Got no confidence in me winning this engagement win. That's happening to me. Let's pull him back here a little bit for the moment. Let's go for. Send this tripod back to base. Go for the blue shards upgrade. As well as a refinery. Get some repairs here for my units. He seems to be all over the place. Not micro. I'm not sure how he's able to get all these freaking funds, man. That makes no sense to me. Well, I'll just take out these predator tanks then, real quick. Get it, focus those down. And he's probably going to call the GG now. And that is uh, going to be it. That was a pretty good game. It involved a lot of micro, a lot of positioning. A few times in that game I thought I was getting um, outflanked and I had no chance to recover, but in the end I pulled through and won that game somehow. So yeah, that's probably the best game uh, so far in this series. Uh, I had two pretty good games so far. Um, 
Of course, uh, when I'm recording like this, I have no way to tell if it's going to be all good games, all bad games, one good game, the rest bad games. It's just how it is, and I can't be picky in a time where it's um, hard enough trying to find someone to play, um, you know, just some games as I'm doing now. So, yeah, uh, I'm glad that Sin is still around uh, for me to play games, and uh, most of all, uh, for you guys to watch uh, some Kane's Wrath. So, yeah, I will uh, continue to do these VODs. Uh, so, over. Uh, with all that said, we play some more games. Alright guys, this will be the last game, and we'll be playing versus Senna once again. It is a different time of day, as you can probably tell by the lighting conditions, it's freaking night time by now. But, um, yeah, we're going to be on Tiki Turmoil. Just play Bike Rush 2 games. But that was a catastrophic failure, because... I couldn't click my mouse properly. <laughs> I also forgot the cure refineries, which is going to be also devastating versus Senna. But nevertheless, I want to close this VOD out on a note of some sort. I was thinking of doing a quick tour of my computer at the end of this video, but you know what? My room is a bit messy at the moment, so I'm just going to avoid that uh, at the moment. I'm going to do that uh, another time. Um, probably the weekend I will post a video, a, a first person video, and perhaps at the end of that I will include footage of my room uh, and my setup and you know how everything is. Um, I've got the green screen behind me, that's how I'm able to uh, have this, this part and this part transparent because I have a green screen there. A few things also, um, I have the microphone of course on a boom stand mic and a boom arm I meant to say. Of course you need a pop filter as well otherwise the harsh P and S sounds can be quite uh, What's the word? Clipping. It can clip your microphone audio, which is bad. Take out this Awaken here. Prevent it from EMPing my harvesters, though. It's not going to do too much because I do have the shielded harvesters, so I'm going to be fine versus that. Let's see what he has here. He's going for a buggy, okay? Going to clean me up here. Probably want to spread some of these scouts out and about so I don't get royally screwed by this. And send it going to undergo, ah, going to go underway with an expansion. I may have overspent a bit too much on my scouts, but it is what it is. I'm going to go for that expansion at the moment on double power plant. Not only required to expand on a single power plant, so uh, not uh, nearly as bad for them uh, to expand. I'm going to go for uh, potentially mechapedes in this game uh, versus a nod faction. Uh, not fast tech mecha, because as we saw in that last game that I played versus Divmare, I do believe, in my second last first person video, uh, that was uh, a catastrophic fail because I could endlessly draft EMP Awaken from Shredder Turrets and, you know, endlessly dodge those or kept, keep those EMPs uh, going on the mechas. But let's see if Sen is going to go for two or factories here. He does have a tendency of doing that sometimes. Uh, he's been quite passive lately, but um, can't rule anything out from him. I would love to get some games versus bike, but I just, just don't feel that I'm a challenge for him currently. And that's unfortunately as a result of me uh, not practicing that much. I am trying to get some much needed practice though, however, versus Senna. And I'm going to go for a uh, portal before I expand here. I'm going to go for the uh, blue tip build as well and start amassing a few seekers as well as a portal for some disintegrators so I can hold back double war factory though I did see the refinery there so I'm safe versus that um, I could probably sneak in and kill his spike here rather than capture it I will actually uh, try and destroy it so we'll see how that goes I'm gonna put my tier 2 here so I can crawl far enough to whoa that looks like a juicy juicy um, buzzer storm might be able to get a, a nice swarm there, kill all those infantry. I am waiting for my funds though to come in. It's not, for some reason I don't have any. So I'm just going to ignore the Awaken, going to go straight for the rockets, get as many kills here as possible. And, you know, kill this spike. I could go for the upgrade as well. Uh, one strategy I've done in the past was I used to cycle between infantry and vehicles when it comes to mecha feed spam. Because often players would go for stealth tanks in response to the mechas. Uh, Senna potentially not a stealth tank kind of guy, but uh, nevertheless Seekers on um, fully upgraded are very powerful. I think I'm more inclined to go for those. So let's see what he's going to do here. 
I'm used to draft maybe potentially a tier two here. I'm gonna take out this scorpion tank. He's gonna go in for the crush. He should probably just crush all these units. It's not cost effective though, never gonna be. Okay. Where's all my seekers? They're over here at the moment. I'm going to go over here. Retreat with my seekers. Maybe I could get these on a um, another control group so I can put some harassment onto him. So we'll see how that goes. So uh, he's gonna retreat to base. Well, my harvest. I forgot about that. Wow, that's bad. I'm surprised I'm not as far behind as um, what it was versus bike rush, considering I just forgot that harvester there. But I'm gonna send these around here. The seeker. And get underway with another expansion. Okay, so he's going to scout this here, this um, seeker army. Well, it's not really an army, but it's going to be pretty. He's he's going to be informed of it, and that's the most. I don't want to engage there because he's going to reinforce his scorpion tanks and take me out. As you can see, he's probably reinforcing tanks over there. He's going to be struggling to deal with this army here though. Go take out his harvesters. Um, he's not actually in position here, so he's gonna lose those straight away. And I feel that I was pushing his army uh, away from the the fight there. I'm gonna take out this harvester here. Assign a Seeker just for that role. He's on tier three uh, because Seekers as um, Mock are very hard to deal with. He's going infantry now. See if he's got any more harvesters in that blue field. He's actually on tech as well, in, the, in that he has charged particle beams. So the Seekers now did receive a universal gun damage buff, which is not going to be good for Mock at all. So, is that Redeemer coming out as well? Yeah, it is. Well, maybe a wise idea now to transition into some tripods. Um. Maybe a hex as well. Let's get that out. Taking as much blue tip as possible. He's going up here with the Redeemer, I think. Or maybe not. Let's poke into this base here, see if he's got anything that I can take out. Okay, I'll put these little strike force seekers over here. He could be doing like a base push on me. There's a harvester there, let's take that out. That is dead meat. If they decide to kill it, of course. Okay, get that hexapod out. Maybe he's got one click queued. Can we take out this base here. I oh, tried to get the cell, but it wasn't quick enough. If he's got his redeemer. He's actually moved his... He's all over the place, actually, with his Redeemer. I can use the free scan as well, just to see when he has that refinery down as an expansion. Um, I'm surprised he was so behind, considering how I um, also teched up on to tier 3 on one base, or two bases, so he shouldn't be that far behind of me. I'm not sure why he is, but nevertheless, I'm going to get my Redeemer out. Or my Hexapod, I should say. Send these uh, straight through the guts, I guess. And... I need to macro up some army here. Okay, well he found me here. Maybe I was a bit too slow in response, but uh, nevertheless, I'm going to get some interest integrators in here. I do feel that they're the best um, units to deal with this sort of thing. And so I'm just going to try and recover in this game. Okay, go for more hexapods. Try micro. I'm going to his natural, maybe kill some harvesters that he has there. He does have EMP, so I need to be extra careful. He's going to pull his harvesters here, which is a good uh, move by him gonna buy him me time anyway and I could endlessly recycle that um, I call seed ability not sure why I'm not doing that but nevertheless go take him out here and let's see what he has he's not transitioning into enough infantry here so 
could be in some trouble. Just gonna fall back here with this. Um, instead of maybe more tripods, I could probably get some corruptors just to heal this up, this hexapod, as well as maybe some infantry if he decides to transition more into that. It looks like he's going mass inf now. Avatars are not very good versus tripods. Could probably get the other upgrade for my uh, tripods here, which is the conversion reserves. Okay. Oh, he's coming in over here to deal with this hexapod. And I'm taking that infantry. It's good to take out my... Um, one of my seekers there will try to deal with those forces. He's just going to stay put in his base. I feel like going in for one big attack, see what I can do with that. Okay, so let's see what uh, I can do here with this uh, army. I feel that he's out of position a little bit with this attack force. So I'm going to march into his expansion here. Okay. Um, can I deal with this attack? Probably. If I stasis these avatars and go in with a hexapod. It's going to be an extremely powerful attack force. Kind of trying to move in with his redeemer. He's going to EMP me here. I'm going to take out these these forces. And I think that was a bit wasteful on my end. That was really wasteful, actually. Oh, fuck me, man. Man, I'm playing really bad tonight. I've got eight corruptors at home. Ah, that's GG. I guess it is what it is. Maybe I should have uh, been a bit more aggressive rather than passive there. I tried to get videos out for you guys. But some days I struggle to uh, terminate videos, especially with the lapses in time where I don't have anybody to play. So it can be hard to find someone. And by the time I do get someone to play, I'm not uh, comfortable playing at that time. So it is what it is. Um, admittedly, that game, I could, I should have won that game. I should have gone for more anti-infantry to deal with his infantry because I knew that he had that. I thought that was a good stasis shield, but I didn't keep the Redeemer continuously empt, so it was kind of a problem in that regard. I just um, suicided my forces in there, trying to end the game as, as quick as possible, but uh, I paid dearly for that move, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's going to be GG, and... You know, I should have won with that resource discrepancy there. But with all that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this VOD. Um, I will be bringing more VODs to you. Um, hopefully better than this one. But uh, there was a few good games in there that I played earlier. But uh, with all that said, this is Master Leave. Peace out.